I got hold of the data from thousands of games and found 848,669 chest spawns, 877,158 ammo boxes, 79,992 coolers and 99,333 hollow chests. I'm going to tell you where they spawn, how often they spawn and importantly what comes out of them. So here we go. Let's jump straight into chests. There are over 1,400 chest locations on the map and most people think that the spawn rate is 50%. But this is false, and I have the data to prove it. First I looked at how often each chest spawned, and here are the results. Each dot is a chest location, and the y-axis shows the percentage of games that they spawned in. It's quite clear that most of the chests are around 60% chance. I suspected that they're all exactly 60%, and we're just seeing some small scattering around it because we're observing randomness from a sample of games. So I did some math to check that this sort of scattering is exactly what you would expect if it was all exactly 60% in the game code, and it all matched up perfectly. I'm not going to explain all that stuff in detail because this is not a maths class, thankfully. The chest spawn rate is 60% for most chests, and not 50%. You might have also spotted some chests on the graph that are 100% spawn. Looking at which chests they are, I found that it's just the chests in the vault. Unfortunately, there aren't any other chests on the map that spawn every time. Lastly, we have a chest with a strange 36% spawn rate. This chest is in a small fishing shack on the north coast. I'm not sure why it doesn't spawn much, but the whole shack is stored in some sort of additional data file that doesn't appear in modes like Battle Lab. But maybe they're using it for testing something, or it's just glitched. Now that we know how often chests spawn, let's look at how often they are opened. Here's a graph with a dot for each chest again. This time the y-axis shows how often they are opened, ignoring the times they don't spawn of course. We see that they really range a lot, from very few at almost 0%, then more and more as we go up until the most dense area, around 50-80%. to 80%. Here's the same data, but on the map. With the most open chests on the map in a dark colour, then we add the next level in a lighter colour, and so on. The least opened ones are these ones in pink. The single most open chest is in the gas station near Reality, being opened in 94% of games that it spawned in. This location surprised me at first, but thinking about it, it makes sense, as some POIs have so many chests that a few always get skipped. While this area is somewhat popular to land in in tournament games, and everyone who comes here will definitely open it. If nobody does land there, it's a common place for teams to rotate past from Greasy, Reality or any other split, especially as it's a place to get metal or a reboot van. Meanwhile, the least open chests are mostly found in the southeast canyons. This is because the loot is really spread out and sparse, so nobody will be landing there. Also, if you're in the area, you'll be better off just going into Tronkers and Condo, where there will always be leftover loot. Our next topic is rare chests. You might know them by one of their many other names, like Super, Epic, Special or Legendary chests. I checked my 800,000 chest spawns and plotted how often each chest was a rare one. Ignoring all the ones at zero, which clearly behave differently, we get a 4.9925% chance of a chest being rare, which I think we can safely assume is just 5% in Epic's code. As with the chest spawn rate, I verified everything further using some maths and distributions and all that stuff that most of you just don't need to care about. So given that each chest has a 60% spawn rate, that means it's generally a 3% chance that a specific chest location will have a rare chest. There are exceptions as always, with some vault chests being 100% certain to be rare, but more interestingly there are 177 locations that cannot be a rare chest, and here they are on a map. Now there is an obvious pattern here, they are all chrome chests. You cannot get a rare chrome chest. You probably won't get rare chests in any new region that the chrome spreads to as the rest of the season unfolds either. And now I will tell you what items you get in the chest. Well first I must give a disclaimer that this will be out of date once the loot pool changes. When an item is vaulted or unvaulted, a few probabilities will be adjusted, usually not all. But the start of a new season will obviously have huge changes. The first point to note is that item probabilities are the same wherever you are. There is no such thing as chest locations that give better or different loot. In each normal chest, you will get a weapon with the associated ammo. You will also get one stack of mats and a healing item. Here is the breakdown of what weapons you get in chests. For ease of reading, I've colour coded the different types of weapons with blues for shotguns, greens for ARs and so on. 
All the weapons in the current loot pool are available from chests, and the Evo Chrome AR currently has the highest spawn rate. You have about 25% chance of getting a shotgun, 32% of an AR, 25% for SMG, and the rest is the pistol and scope weapons. As for rarity, here is the breakdown, which shouldn't be too surprising, with green making up the vast majority of weapons, and gold being very very rare. Before we get to some more probabilities of keys and other things, let's talk about floor loot. I found that these have a 75% spawn rate, so there's a 25% chance that there will not be anything at the location, which you should have come across many times. Here's the breakdown of what sort of item you'll get from your floor loot, with a weapon being the highest chance, followed by heals, ammo, materials, and finally, other, which is things like harpoons, chrome splashes, and keys. As for the weapon itself, the shotguns are a bit more common than in chests at 35% of all weapons, and the Evo Chrome weapons are much less common. Snipers in floor loot are very rare, probably because blue is the only sniper rarity that can appear in a floor spawn. Finally, we have the weapon rarities of floor loot, which are majority grey, but still a decent number of greens and a few blues. You cannot get purple or gold weapons from floor loot. We'll now talk about keys, which are one of the most important pieces of loot at the moment. You can use one key to open a hollow box or a small vault, and two keys for an exotic weapon or a large vault. The chance of getting a key from a normal chest is 10%. You can also get them from floor spawns with a chance of 1.6%, and rare chests have the best chance at 37%. Combining these numbers with the actual spawn rates that we talked about, we can actually figure out what the chance of getting one or two keys from a drop spot is. Here are a few examples of getting at least two keys from a few POIs that are currently close to large vaults. With the vaults moving and people changing drops all the time, it's a bit impractical to always have an updated map for everybody. Instead, I will show you this contour graph and an explanation of how to use it. Firstly, you need to know how many chests and floor loots you have, which you can get from fortnite.gg. Let's say we have 17 chests and 65 floor loots. You find the chest value on the x-axis and draw a line upwards. Do the same with the floor loots on the y-axis, drawing a line horizontally. Then look at the place where they cross and read what contour lines you are between. For this example, we find that the probability is between 55 and 60% of getting at least two keys. Here is an equivalent graph for getting at least one key as well, as I'm sure many of you are landing at places with small vaults or just want a hollow box. And just a quick note that this all assumes that you loot every single item from your location, which most teams don't actually do. But in practice, you can take a few percent off these probabilities. That leads us nicely onto the new hollow chests, but before that I would like to quickly thank you for watching and if you got this far then it seems that you appreciate the effort I've gone through for this video, so do consider finding the like and subscribe buttons. So here is what you need to know about hollow chests. There are 79 locations on the map. All of them have three normal hollow chests and either a double lock chest or a consumables chest. In general, there is a 30% chance of getting the normal chests and you'll either get all of them or none and there is a 20% chance of getting the special double lock or consumable chest. However, 18 of these locations actually have a much higher spawn rate, now shown by the larger bubbles. They have a 100% spawn rate for the normal hollow chests, and 67% for the double or consumable chest there. There will be at least the three normal hollow chests there in every game. And lastly, we can also break it down into which locations have a double lock chest and which have a consumables chest. We have the double lock chest staying pink, and the locations with a possible consumables chest in blue now. Now that you know where and how often they spawn, let's see what's inside them. This is a very simple one. There are just 7 weapons you can get, and they all have an equal chance. Notably there is no ranger shotgun, or any evo chrome weapons. Another thing to note is that you can't get the same weapon twice in the set of 3 chests, but you could get both types of shotgun. This does mean that the chance of getting each of these weapons within the three hollow chests is 43% for each weapon. As for the rarity, it's 60% chance of purple and 40% gold. So overall, there is a 17% chance of getting the coveted gold prime shotgun within your three chests. As for consumables chests, you will either get three floppers or six splashes, each with 50% chance. 
and in the double lock chests you get an exotic weapon, which in competitive modes will either be 6 chili splashers or a shadow tracker, again with 50% chance each. Pubs have some more weapons like the double barrel shotgun and boom sniper added into the mix though. That concludes the section on hollow chests, which leaves just one more item I wanted to talk about. Cooler boxes are one of the most powerful items in the game right now, because there are only two items that can spawn from them, meaning that a full stack of splashers is often quite likely. Of course, I am here to tell you exactly how likely that is. The breakdown of what comes out of a box is very simple, it's 56% floppers and 44% chug splashers. But each cooler has two items, so you can either get two floppers or four chug splashers or one flopper and two chug splashers, and these are the probabilities of each of those combinations. What people most want to know though is whether they can get a full stack of six splashers, and this graph might help you with that. On the x-axis you can look for how many cooler boxes you're getting, then the line will tell you your probability of getting at least 6 splashes from them. I've also calculated the chances for 12 and 18 splashes as well for your convenience. So if you have 7 coolers, you have around a 62% chance of getting at least 12 splashes. Pause the video as always if you need to look for your situation. That's all for this video, I'd like to thank Nokon for working on this with me, he runs a site called fortnitereplay.info that you should check out as it has loads of interesting Fortnite data there, the link is down below. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, see you next time.